happen, y'all? How's it going? Happy Wednesday. I'm so excited for some makeup today. My face is so dry. So dry. Lips. Check out the lips before. Before we apply this, I'm going to soak my whole face with this. My face has been having it. With the weather change, it got so, so, so cold. And now it's like 30 degrees and my face just does not like the temperature difference. But dry parched lips beforehand. We're putting this mask on to watch the transformation. Beautiful. But I'm soaking my face in this. Hi, Tony. What's happening? What palette should we do today? I think we should do another pocket palette look. What do you say? I think pocket the pocket palettes are just so pretty. Can't get over the pocket palettes. All right. We are doing medium and I'll put my moisturizer on. Moisturizer. By the way, if you guys didn't know, you can do this moisturizer on subscription and you'll save a ton of money. I think it's like 40 or I don't know. It's a lot of money. If you do the glow complexion bundle itself, you save like 40 or $60. So if you like the, the glow complexion line, just get the bundle pack as a subscription and you'll save so much money doing it that way. What's popping Tina? How's it going? What's popping? All right. Luminizing primer. We do this first. Then we go to BB cream. I'm doing the shade medium. And then you mix both of these together. Hi, Laura. What's popping? How's it going? Y'all have anything exciting going on today? Yesterday, I went on a binge and was like cleaning and organizing my kitchen and cleaning the entire house. It was great. I love a good binge clean. Yeah, no, black, no background music allowed on Facebook. Facebook does not like when you use music in your videos. It does not like it. Okay, Kabuki brush. You could use your your hands if you want. I love Kabuki brush. All right. And it just blends everything out super smooth and flawlessly. Just works so much faster. Bada bing, bada boom. See how fast that is? It's remarkable. All right. If you're hopping on, say hi. I think uh, my comments aren't working. It's just showing me people hopping on, but it's not really showing anybody commenting, which is weird. But me, pull this up on my other phone really quick to see what the deal is. What's the deal? What What's going on? What is going on? Let's go to here. Let's go to here. And let's go to here. Yeah, it says there's nine comments. I didn't see any of those comments. How weird. All right. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Patty. All right, there we go. I see comments on my other phone. I don't know why, but it wasn't popping up on this phone. But BB cream, full of win. Um, hi, Tiffany. Hi, Donna. What's popping? Uh, oh, I forgot to do my eyelid. I was like, geez, always. What is on my eyelid? Crazy. Okay. Oh, that's so nice. So nice. Um, what am I doing? I, mm. I zapped two little spots on my face. I zapped right here and I zapped right here. So I got some scars on my face. But uh, I'm a makeup artist, beauty consultant myself. Just wanted to say that you do beautiful work. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I love being in the makeup world. It's just so fun to play around with colors and transform your face. It's just, it's just fun. It's so fun. Okay, light color in BB cream. And then we're gonna put this underneath the eyes and on the eyelid. 
and we're gonna use the contour stick the new contour stick has anybody tried the new contour stick yet hi maria what's popping this one we need the dark one this is the barely bronze we need the other one is it this one chocolate Souf souffle is that how you say it i always forget how to say it this is so nice because it's so fast so fast i kind of want to do pink again i'm i'm really addicted to that pink color in that pocket palette oh my gosh remember to push this down before you put the top on i was just trying to put the top on and it was not pushed down what's popping martha what's popping all right and then this just blends all out super quick and smooth it's very nice and then you blend out the contour look at that bada bing bada boom by the way these earrings are on super sale right now you can get these super cheap right now they're on sale this month and then you can add my discount code on top of it and i think it'll be like close to 30 bucks for these plated cross earrings if you guys didn't see that those are on sale this month dark brown eyes i really like golds color like gold colors on brown eyes i think they're really pretty colors that are kind of co more close to your natural eye color i think are just really flattering on brown eyes so coppers golds stuff like that is what i generally recommend for brown eyes, darker brown eyes. Isn't the foundation nice? If you wanna try it and you want a color match, you can just comment hashtag color match and I'll send you a link and then you just send in a photo and I'll get you a color match. But there we go, that's the BB cream. Look at how pretty it is. It's so pretty. Um, then we're gonna do blush. Yeah, it's this blush I'm addicted to in the very bold, bold palette. I'm gonna use it again. Cause I'm addicted. And we're gonna use this color on the eyes again today, probably, because I just love it. I can't get over it. Yeah, hashtag color match if you guys want a color match, if you wanna try this. I have a BB bundle, I have a serum bundle. Um, I have a custom bundle you can make if you want. It's just a lot of different things that you can do, but. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, this palette is so good so good it's so pretty all right i'm gonna do the luminizing color out of here too i really like this luminizing color oh my gosh look at i actually did my nails no ghetto nails as me and my sister like to call our natural nails we call them ghetto nails <laughs> and look at this isn't that pretty just a little gel i'm trying to think what nails what press on nails i want to get next i need to get shorter ones because whenever i get long ones i don't wear them long enough does anybody here wear long nails? Or do you prefer short nails? I just have a hard time doing anything with long nails. Here we go. <laughs> my natural nails are ghetto as they come, so brittle. Oh my gosh, yeah. Mine um aren't too brittle, but they're just like boring they're kind of stripey you prefer short nails too yeah i feel like you can just get so much more stuff done with short nails okay second coat of my lip mask um you do eventually get used to long nails just takes a while you type all day. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I get used to them, but I get annoyed of them. Like I get, I get annoyed when I'm trying to do things and I can't do it fast enough. <laughs> it's just because I'm impatient. That's why. I am an impatient person. And when nails get in my way, it really annoys me. All right. Our base is done. Is this not gorgeous? This is what you guys can get a color match for if you want. Um, this is my BB bundle. So if you type in hashtag color match, 
there's a form and you can select what bundle you want. This is the BB bundle. So if you want this specific foundation color match for you, just select the BB bundle option. I get it, if they're longer, they break off easier. I can't do a thing with long nails on. I have long nails that I haven't even worn yet. Like they're brand new. I can wear them for like the weekend or something, but as soon as I get in my weird, my little cleaning spurts or like organizing spurts, then I just don't want anything on my nails. We should do some brown lashes today. Um, do a hashtag color match if you want a color match for this BB bundle. It's so pretty. I swear, if you try this, you'll be addicted. It'll, it just makes your skin look so beautiful. Like, there's no filter on this video right now. I don't know how more real it gets. There's no filter. It's so funny when people comment on my stories on Instagram and they're like, could you post without a filter? And I was like, just come watch the live. Like you can see it straight up on my lives. I don't post filters on my lives. You can see how pretty it looks as if like the filter really did anything at all. It's kind of funny. That's how I am with summer. No gardening with the long nails. Oh, I wish I liked gardening. Hopefully I'll like it maybe when I get older. hope I grow into liking gardening because I would like to have a garden eventually I just do not like gardening probably because when I was little my parents my dad made us weed the garden all the chores I had to do as a when I was younger I do not like doing as an adult folding piles of laundry gardening doing dishes I come from a big family so Put that in perspective, when you're doing dishes, you're doing a stack of dishes. You're not doing dishes for like two people, you're doing dishes for 10 people. So I hated doing dishes because it literally took forever. We all had our own dish days. So like Tuesday's my day, Wednesday's somebody else's day. Oh my gosh, it was a nightmare. And then laundry days, you're not folding laundry for just you, you're folding laundry for 10 people. <laughs> so yeah all the things that I had to do like that as a younger age did not like them gardening my dad had two or three massive gardens so you're not gardening a little garden you're gardening a big garden so yeah now all those things I don't like doing as an adult I don't like doing dishes I hate doing laundry but I love to clean the house like I could clean the house all day I love cleaning my car I love organizing I love doing all that but like the other things no Mm -mm. I don't like doing that. I also don't like doing dishes because I'm sure if you're short, you know the struggle. Whenever you wash your hands or do dishes, water just runs down your elbow and it gets water everywhere. My husband always laughs. He's like, are you in a water park? Because every time you turn the faucet on, there's water everywhere. And I was like, well, that's because I'm short. I'm like, all the water just runs straight down my arms. Like, I can't help it. It's short people problems, you know? The faucet's up here so it runs down, but if you're tall, the faucet's down here so you don't have to worry about that. Water park. Uh, I always had to rake the grass as a child. Now as an adult, I can't stand doing it. Oh my gosh, so I'm not the only one that doesn't like doing stuff like that. A water park, literally. You and your sister rotated doing dishes. My brother had the trash and mowing the lawn. Oh, that's not too bad. I actually liked cutting the grass. That's one chore I actually enjoyed as a child and I still love to do it. Um, Cause it's the riding lawnmower, so it's fun, you know? And it's super satisfying seeing the, the short grass compared to the long grass. So I actually um, enjoy cutting grass as long as it's on a rider. I mean, I don't mind pushing the lawnmower either, but I just prefer a rider. But yeah, I, I actually in summertime, Y'all think I'm crazy, but I will drive out to my parents' house to go cut the grass. <laughs> I will go to my parents' house to go work and cut the grass. If it's a nice day out, 
I'm like one of those weird practical people where like if I'm going to be doing something, it has to make sense. Like I have to, I can't sit and do nothing. So if I want to go get sunshine, like get a tan, I have to be outside doing something. So my excuse to get a tan is to go to my parents' house and cut the grass. <laughs> so I'll be in my bikini on the lawnmower cutting the grass and getting a tan. <laughs> the only... The only huge massive problem with that is I'm allergic to grass. How ironic is that? So I get a tan, but I also get very itchy, especially if it's windy out and the grass blows on you. I mean, you get grass on you no matter what, but if it's windy, then it's really bad, you know? Then I'm just like, but yeah, I'm allergic to grass, unfortunately. I get super itchy and I sneeze and my eyes get really red and itchy. It's not fun. <laughs> Hi, Annabella. I'm laughing so hard since I'm short too and we have eight kids growing up. I feel your pain. Oh my gosh, yeah. So many chores. So many chores. But it taught us to be responsible young adults. So um, we kept the house clean. I feel like if you don't instill that when you're young, then it turns into your adult life and then it's hard to be a clean person. But if you, if your parents kind of helped you stay clean when you were younger, it transfers into your adult life and it helps you keep tidy, I guess you could say. But I'd say I'm a pretty tidy person. You love the BB cream, it's perfect. Isn't it beautiful? I'm wearing it right now. I was just tell just before you came on the live, I was just telling people that they need to try this BB cream because it's so good. It makes your skin look so beautiful. Hello from Mexico. Okay, we're gonna mix two of these little pocket palettes together. If you haven't seen these, these are so cool. They are called pocket palettes. They have a shimmer slash eyeshadow, um, bronzer slash eyeshadow, eyeshadow, and a lip color. So they got all these fun colors in them and they're small. So we're gonna take this color and we're gonna take the pink out of this palette, all right? So we're gonna pop this. I'm actually gonna grab my little mirror here. Thank you. Thank you. The necklace, by the way, and the earrings that are on sale, go grab these. These are on such a discount right now. Um, if you want a link to these, just comment hashtag beads and it will send you the link automatically but I think there's only a couple of these left but it's a really pretty dainty there's actually a matching cross necklace too but I think the necklace is so well but they're just really cheap right now they're plated gold on um, super sale this brown is really pretty out of this palette um, yeah, just comment hashtag beads for the necklace or the earrings. Hashtag, hashtag beads. Okay, so I'm thinking we're going to do this color. And then we're going to take this brown color and also put it down underneath the lower lash line. Okay. We're going to put this down underneath here with the little angle brush. Is this a photo shoot? No. Look at this. Bam. Bada bing, bada boom. I like how um, these pocket palettes too, the colors, the colors in the pocket palettes are very rich. I don't know if you noticed that, but they're really pigmented. We're gonna clean this edge up later, but just adding a little accent to it. We're creating a wing without making a wing. This is that tip I was telling you about the other day. If you have hooded eyes and you don't wanna do winged eyeliner, but you still want a wing look, I'll show you how to do that. Love the color, thank you. That's my next purchase, some pocket palettes. They're really pretty. They're very pretty. And there's so many different colors in here and they're small, so they're easy to travel with. Um, the, this one's my favorite though, is this berry palette one. And now we're going to take the pink color. We're going to take the bright pink, which is this one. And we're going to put this on the lid. 
Oh, see, it's not pretty. Pink and brown. And it's a shimmery pink, which is really pretty. And I think I'm gonna do some white liner in the waterline too, possibly. We'll see. I like how it matches my nails. I just noticed that. Maybe that's why I like the color. <gasps> That's probably why I unconsciously painted my nails this color is because of this pink eyeshadow. Because I'm so addicted to this pink eyeshadow. I feel like I do stuff like that unconsciously all the time. And I'm not even thinking about it. All right, we're going to take this white color from this Cool Tone palette. And we're going to pop that in the inner corner of the eye, like right here. And I'm probably going to take a little bit of shimmer and put some in there too. Hi, Crystal. What's popping? Her eyeshadow is almost done already though. Okay. So where's the pocket palette? This one? Nope, this is not the right one. All right. We're going to take the shimmer in the top of the pink palette. This one. And we're going to put that just in the inner corner. We're just gonna put that right here. Just the smidgens, just in the inner corner right there. And actually, I'm gonna put some underneath my brow again. I did earlier, but I'm just gonna accent it a little bit more. Make it pop just a smidgen more. All right, let me look, see what else we need to do. Maybe just fade this a little bit at the top. But this is the little trick that you do. So if you have hooded eyes, you just do your eyeshadow like normal. You don't even have to sweep it up like I did. You don't have to do that, okay? You just throw it on really quick. Thank you, Crystal. I'm terrible putting makeup on, but learning, so, so please don't ever stop your videos. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad that my tutorials are helping you learn how to do your makeup. It really makes a big difference. Um, okay. So you don't have to do this sweeping line that I did. You literally just throw your, your, um, eyeshadow on like normal. Then you're going to grab a little bit of your BB cream that you put on. We're just going to do a little, or your foundation. It doesn't have to be BB cream. It could be your foundation color. And then you need, this is the little magic brush you need. It's the splurge cream brush. You're going to dip it into this. And what you do is you just do a slight upward swiping motion like that and it just creates the illusion of a really nice well it doesn't create illusion it does create a nice super clean line and it gives the effect of a wing without having to draw on a wing and it looks much softer too which is nicer um as well if you don't want something super dramatic eyeshadow looks much softer than a black wing that's literally all you do and this is such an awesome hack because it creates the illusion of an eye lift so if you feel like your face is starting to look a little droopy do your eyeshadow like this because it'll really enhance your face you'll feel like you got threading done or something whatever they call it I think it's called threading where they lift your, they lift the eye. All right. Beautiful. See that? See how nice that looks? Bada bing, bada boom. All right. We're going to do the heated lash curler. If you want a link to this, just comment hashtag fancy. Uh, you just hold down the button and then you pick what mode. I always do level three and it takes like a couple seconds to heat up. So while that does that, we're going to put white liner on the waterline. Hi, Brie. What's popping? Um, okay. White liner. Yeah, if you message me, I'll get back to you. We're just going to do a little bit of white line, liner in the waterline. And I always go back and forth multiple times. So see how I'm kind of going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You're going to do two coats of that and it'll go on brighter. So, 
and I kind of like to wipe it off a little bit before I do the second coat. And then we're going to do it again back and forth. This actually, by the way, too, just so you know, this mirror that I'm using is from the same website. So if you comment hashtag fancy, that's where you can find this and this mirror. This mirror has a little ring light in it. It's really bright. And it has like three or four, no, it has three different lighting modes. It's really nice if you don't have good lighting or if you need to touch up your makeup at all. All right, there we go. Love that. So that's all I'm doing for the white. This is all heated up. This will turn clear once it's heated up and how you use it is you just pop this down Okay, and then you just put your lashes in there and then you hold until it beeps. And then I go to the other side. You can do it one time. I usually do it like twice. So I'll come back over here and do it one more time. Like that. It's so easy and your lashes don't get stuck or caught up in it. So you don't have to worry about it ripping out your eyelashes or anything. But it really, see, look at how curled my lashes are now. If you have really flat eyelashes, that thing works so good. And you can also use it on falsies. Um, okay, but next we're using my favorite mascara. This is the Quattro Growth Mascara. If you want to check it out, you can, there's a pinned link right here. That's where you can find links to everything that I'm using. But it's a tubing mascara. It has primer in it, and it also has a lash growth serum in it. So it's like four products in one, pretty much. But we're gonna do probably two coats of this because I don't have any mascara on right now. And I usually like to do one or two coats before lashes. If I'm not wearing lashes, I like a lot of eyelash, so I would do like two to three coats if I'm not wearing falsies. Thank you, Brie. These earrings are on sale right now. Go get them. They're super cheap. Hashtag beads. They're on sale right now, but then I have a 25% off discount code that you can stack. And they're super cheap right now. All right, there's one co. Beautiful. This one is almost empty. I actually have to throw this out soon. There's like hardly any product left in here. I've had this for months, four months. This is still my first quadra. It's crazy. Right. Yeah. Hashtag B is for the necklace or the earrings. The earrings will be under monthly specials. nice let's do this bottom lash again beautiful yeah hashtag beads no spaces though you can't do spaces otherwise it doesn't work bada bing bada boom look at that so good bam all right so then while that dries because you don't want to put lashes on while it's wet, we're gonna move on to our lips. And I think I'm gonna use an old but favorite lip color. I might use blushing. I'm either thinking of blushing or well-to-do, which is, this is blushing. Oh, see, that looks really pretty. Or we could do well-to-do, which is a little more nude. Yeah, for the lash curler, just do hashtag fancy. I think we should do this though. I don't even know where well to do is. This has a little more color to it. This is, by the way, this is my favorite lipstick that we have. This is my favorite one. I've gone through two of these already. I really like this. It's just one of those nice blush colors that go with everything. So you can pretty much do it with any type of eye look that you have and it looks good. It's crazy. Um, so we're going to do that with a brown lip liner for a little added contrast. All right. So brown lip liner, I actually got to sharpen this. 
I have that pink lipstick. It's my favorite too. It's so pretty. It's just, you'll see once I put it on, it's a very pretty blush color. And I'm not a pink girl. Like I don't like a lot of pink. I like hints of pink, but I don't like a lot of pink. And it's just like the right amount of pink. It's not too pinky, but it's also not too light where it washes you out. It's like perfect. And I like to do it with brown lip liner, so. Oh, we gotta exfoliate my lips now because we had that mask on, I almost forgot. So if you do layers of that mask, you can literally exfoliate the dry skin off your lips. It's crazy, it works like so good. I think I'm gonna start doing that before I exfoliate my face. I think I'm gonna put that on first and then exfoliate. I feel like that would be work really well. Okay. Any who's? Brown lip liner, blushing lipstick. Go check your hands out on Messenger. Okay. Otherwise, if you message me again, it'll pop up at the top of my Messenger so it doesn't get lost again. It's in this color pretty, and then I always ombre it. But it's just a really nice pink blush color. And then I like to ombre and line my lips again. So for ombre, I just do like the color that I use under my eyes. So whatever concealer that you use under your eyes, that's what I use as an ombre. So we're taking the BB in the color light. I just dabbled a little bit and then we're going to take this and ombre. Whoa, that was a lot of product. And this just creates that perfect lip ombre look. I need my mirror. And then line again. Yeah, we gotta dry my hair after this. My hair is wet. And then I like to add, well, I like to clean up the edge a little bit. So just how we did underneath the eyeshadow right here, you're going to do the same thing around your lips and it's going to make your lip line look perfect. Okay. So you're going to wipe this off because you don't want lipstick smearing all over the place. Then you're going to dip it into your product and just clean up around the edges. Thank you, Brenda. So now we're just going to clean up the edge. A little bit preferably not the lighter color I probably should use the same color of foundation not the highlight color but that's okay make sure you're wiping this off in between doing these swatches so that you're not transferring Boom. All right, and then we're gonna take the luminizer color from our pocket palette, this one, and put that on the lips. Um, the makeup, you can check out right here. It's pinned right there. If you wanna go check out all the products that I just used. You can find them on the website there. Otherwise, if you want a custom color match or a custom bundle made for you, you can comment hashtag color match and just fill out a form and I'll get you a custom match. And then I'm going to do a little bit of lip gloss on top of this too. Just when you do lip gloss like this on top of an ombre, you're going to tap it on. Don't smear it because you don't want to 
You don't want to mess up your ombre. Mmm, see? Perfect lip. Such a pretty color. Okay, now it's time for lashes. I think we should do brown today, although my lashes are black. The brown are really nice because they're a little softer looking. Um, and the brown ones I have are shorter. They're pretty short. Thank you, Brie. So hopefully I can find them. I found them, yay, we didn't have to dig for them. Here they are, they're called Beauty. So you can tell these are black lashes, these are brown. They're not like super brown, they're like a darker brown. So I know people are scared to wear brown because they're like, well, my lashes are black, they're not gonna look good, but they still look really good. They literally just look softer. So if you're not like a huge lashy lash person, but you like the thought of lashes, get brown ones because they won't be as dark as black ones. Love the glow, thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll finish off the look by fixing my hair. All right, but yeah, here, this is what they look like. Um, see, they get a little bit longer on the outer edge, so they'll give you a little bit of a wing. These are also really nice eyelashes. If you have hooded eyes, see how curled they are? See how much they curl up like that? They're very curled. So hooded eyes, usually your eyes are drooped a little bit. Anything that curls upward is going to make your eyes look more open. So these are very curled, so they will create a really nice open eye look. And then they come with these little magnets. You just let one of the little magnets stick to your tweezers. Okay. And then you pick it off with your finger. Make sure the lash hair is facing up. And that's where you're going to grab it. Like this. See that? Okay. And then you're gonna just grab this and kind of angle it downward really close to your lash line. So I angle it like this. And then just open your eyes up like that. And it'll just click in. See how it just clicked in like that? Perfection. And then you just do that all the way across. So you grab another one, grab this lash. You're gonna hold it down, hold it down to your lash line. Cause if, you, if it's up like this, the magnet's not gonna cl click in. And I'm gonna tilt my head this way. Oh, my eyebrow. Here we go. All right? Now I'm gonna tilt my head the other way because if I go this way, it's gonna be in the way. So I'm gonna go this way. Boop. And you'll feel it click in and then you can let it go. Last one. I might need to move this lash over a little bit, but we'll just put the last one on. There we go. Ta-da! I think I might need to put this lash on this way a little bit more, but I'll show you how to take them off then because they're really easy to take off. Let me do the other one first. But here we go, we're gonna set this up here. And by the way, when you curl your lashes and put your mascara on, it actually helps hold this up there so you don't have to hold it as much. I know people say like, they'll watch my videos and they'll be like, I try to set my lash up there and it just falls off. Well, if you curl your lashes, it's kind of holding the false lash there. So you don't have to like hold it the whole time when you're grabbing magnets, okay? Here we go. Just gonna grab this lash, hold it nice and close and it'll click on, all right? And all these magnets are stuck together so I'm gonna separate them because you don't wanna be sticking on magnets that are stacked because they'll look really thick and chunky. Aren't these brown lashes pretty though? They're very natural. Natural, they're very thick. They are thicker lashes, but since they're brown, they don't look like crazy or anything. They look really nice and neutral. Okay, one more little magnet. Like that, bada bing bada boom, and then you can go like this to see how well you click them on. But look at that. It's not pretty. Yeah, I'm going to move this one over a little bit more. So I'll show you how to take them off really quick. By the way, if you want to link to the lashes, you can comment hashtag lash. How you take these off, super easy. You just grab the lash with your finger. This is harder to do if you have nails on because your, your nail is going to be like poking yourself in the eye unless you're skilled with nails. But I am not skilled with nails, so I'm always poking myself with nails on. But you just grab the lash like this with your finger and you're gonna slide your thumb outward where the magnet is. You'll grab it and you'll just slide it outward and it'll slide right off, see that? So there's no damage to your natural lashes. They're very quick to remove 
because you just slide them off sometimes they're there we go Oh, that one I dropped. Do it over a countertop in case you drop any. But they don't damage your natural lashes. There's no glue. And if you need to readjust them, they're just, you just slide them off like this and then look it. You just pull it off and it doesn't damage these, these lashes. It doesn't damage your natural lashes. That's why I love them. It's just the initial part, like what I'm showing you right now, that takes a little bit of practice is the magnet part. This part takes a little bit of practice, but um, I always tell people to get a 10x mirror, like a close-up mirror. If you're trying to do it far away, it might be hard for you to see the little magnets. So I would get a 10x mirror and then you should have no problem. Okay. But there, it, you're not gonna be able to do this the first time. I've only seen a couple people be able to put them on like this fast the first time, but just have realistic expectations when learning to put lashes on that they do take practice. Boom, there you go. The first time I tried these, it took me 30 minutes to get them on. But then every time after that, I got faster and I got faster and I got faster. And now you can see I can put them on super fast. I can put them on in less than 20 seconds. 20 seconds. It's pretty amazing. And you can double stack these. We might double stack these. Let's see. So if I have old lashes that I'm going to throw out, I cut them in half. So here's cut lashes. These are cut in half. But these can actually double stack on top of here. See how it magnetically stuck to that? As soon as it gets close enough, it just sticks. See that? You can double stack them. If you want to make them more dramatic without having to take them off and put a new set of lashes on, you can do this. And also, if you get a lash that's too dramatic for you, you can just cut them in half and use them as accent pieces like this. Let's see how pretty that is. Bada bing, bada boom. I don't know if this one is actually, yeah, this one's hanging off. This one has to go up here more. There we go. Creates a little nice accent. If you want to be extra bougie, do you guys like the accent lash or do you like just the the beauty lash? What do you guys like? Do you like the double stack or no double stack? Let me slide this off so you can see. All right. Do you like double stack or no double stack? Very different. See how this makes my eye look so much bigger? That's why I like lashes because they make your eyes look like bigger. And my... My whole thing when I do makeup is I like to I like to emphasize the eyes because that's the first thing that people look at. So I like to make my makeup all about the eyes. I just like that. Double stack. Double. Everybody likes double stack. I think double stack looks better because this is kind of a dramatic look. And at first I was like, ooh, we should do brown. But the brown is kind of non-existent. It kind of blends into the rest of the, the makeup. Like they need to be longer, I think. Double, okay, yeah, I think double too. I have other, I have other lashes in here that are, and actually you can double stack a whole entire lash on top of this. So for example, this is another brown lash. This is called Hottie. This one's a little bit longer, but what you can do too is if you want the whole lash to be more dramatic, not just the outer edge, you can stack a whole lash on top. I like the double on you. It would take time for me to get used to but yeah, look at you can take a whole eyelash and do the whole thing if you want. So that's like with a whole eyelash double stacked on top. I don't really do whole lashes double stacked on top very often. I'll do a lot of accented lashes, but I don't do this a lot just because then you're, it can get a little heavier. If anything, I just put a more dramatic lash on if I want the whole thing to be more dramatic. But let me see, I have other double stack pieces in here. So here I have cutie lashes. So let's see what these look double stacked because every lash is gonna have a slightly different effect to it. So these are cutie lashes that I cut in half. I was watching Selena Gozman's makeup artist and she said the less eyeshadow will be the trend in 2024. Yeah, I notice a lot of um, makeup looks are more simple in 2024. Usually in summertime, I do lighter makeup looks, but in wintertime, I do bolder. So this is, this is cutie. So this is slightly different. Look at, I'll compare. So this is flirty. That's the one I have on, or no, this is dreamy. 
Dreamy is the one that I have over here. This is Cutie. Um, you still like feel like an imposter when you wear them. Yeah, when you first wear lashes, if you've never worn them before, you're going to feel weird. You're going to feel like they don't look good on you. But that's just because you're not used to wearing them yet. Okay, that's that look. So these are a little bit thicker. Or maybe we should just do a, maybe we should just do a whole different lash. Like a whole different full lash. Oh, I can't decide. I really wanted to do brown lashes today. I've been addicted to these beauty lashes. But maybe we should do a full strip. I feel like this makeup is more dramatic. Like we might need a full strip instead. Um you can double stack with glue lashes too, yeah. I don't know how that would look though. I feel like that might look kind of weird because it might get like really gluey because you're using glue. Where these don't use glue, they're just magnets, so they're just stacking. I feel like if you double stack with glue lashes, it might look kind of gummy. Does that make sense? All right, let's get an idea. These are the flirty lashes. I'm just gonna go like this just to get an idea if I would like these better. Or we could do, I've been wearing those a lot too, are the sassy lashes. It's crazy how different lashes can make the look. It, it totally changes the way your makeup looks. Mm, oh, we have, we also have flirty lashes. There's just so many ones we could choose. But it's so easy to just swap them out, so. Uh, I think we need to go tr more dramatic, though. Because this makeup is just, I think it's a little more bougie than I thought it was going to be. are my sassy lashes I have here some sassy lashes look very um, dramatic this is a sassy lash it's very long okay just let's do a comparison look at how short these are they're like the same length as my natural lashes look at how long these are these are bougie See how long they're like touching my eyebrows. Bougie, they're not gonna look this thick because um, we have a double stack lash underneath, but I think we need to do a full strip lash. So let's take these off. And again, they're so easy to take off. You just go like this and slide the little magnets off. One at a time, make sure you grab them so you don't drop them that one got that one last one and you can actually take the whole eyelash off on the last one if you want you can just take this slide it off with the whole band okay and they still look brand new because we don't have glue on them you know with glue lashes they get all gummy and icky looking whereas these they stay nice as long as you take care of them all right Otherwise, another lash I thought about is the flirty lash. Flirty lash is, it's a long eyelash, but it's short. Or short, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. It's not short. It's not thick is what I meant to say. It's a flat lash. So it's really long, very long lash, but see how flat it is? So you can still see a lot of your eye makeup with it, but you still get like the glam look but with, you can still see eye. They really have brown lashes. Um, they have brown, blue, and purple eyelashes, yeah. I wish I had the purple ones, I need to get some. My purple ones, I don't have anymore. I threw them out because they were really bad. But purple lashes would look really good with this makeup today. All right. Yeah, these are very, um, Dramatic, but I kind of feel like I want a dramatic lash now. The beauties were a little too natural for the makeup we did today. I wear those brown ones a lot though when I'm not wearing like hardly any makeup. Ooh, see I like this because the, the lash follows the wing that we have going on here and I think that's why that brown one didn't look good because the brown lash stopped right here. 
Whereas this one, the lash follows this wing, so it kind of adds to the accent. So yeah, these are the, the fancy lashes. Fancy, and they're long. They're as long as those sassy ones, but they're not as curled, so they don't really quite touch our eyebrows. I got such a positive reaction when I wear purple tipped or blue tipped lashes. They're so fun and they can really enhance your eye color because they add contrast, especially too if you don't like wear any eyeshadow. If you watch my Instagram stories today, I had the blue tipped lashes on and they looked so cool and they're making my eyes pop. These are fancy lashes. These are the fancy. So these are dramatic, but they're more of a flat lay eyelash. So they're not going to be as thick. I mean, they're thick, but they're not layered thick. Whereas like, see how these are layered? Like it looks like there's two layers in there. The These are just like one layer. So you can still see a lot of your eyeshadow. I think these are perfect. Okay, we need to fix my hair. I don't know if we need bronzer or anything else. I gotta put all my lashes back in the cases. We gotta fix these hair. All right. Fancy looks great on you. I have, I haven't graduated to those yet. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend wearing these unless you're, you have like dramatic makeup on. Otherwise they might be a little too much. You need like, Depending on the makeup that you're wearing, you want to match your eyelashes to that. So if you have very minimal makeup, you want minimal lashes. If you have bougie makeup, then you want bougie lashes so that they complement each other. Yeah, we're going to do the hair on live. It just takes a while. That's the only thing because I have a lot of hair. But this is what my hair looks like when it's wet. It looks so pretty because it has all this contrast in it. It's just so much dark and blonde contrast together. It looks so... I wish my hair could look like this when it was dry. I love the contrast in my hair when it's wet. So snarly though. Look at all these snarls. Um, what name was the deodorant you ordered? Um, uh, what is it called? Prime, primarily pure. Primarily pure, that's what it's called. The citrus vanilla one smells really good. It smells really good. We don't know if it works yet, but I really hope it works as good as my friend said it works. So, because I can't wear normal deodorant. I can't wear normal deodorant. Um, my, grown, my hair has grown back a lot since chemo. Oh, that's fantastic. That is so good to hear. Are you taking collagen? Are you doing the collagen? Collagen always grows my hair so fast. I um, I kind of do the collagen on and off because my hair starts to grow so fast and then I'm like, wait a second, because then I have to get my hair done again right away. So I take breaks and then I start taking it again. I'm taking, I'm back on taking a lot of collagen again though because I'm trying to, I cut like, I'm gonna put more blush on. I think I cut like five inches off my hair, five or six inches. So right now my hair feels like it's short, even though it's not short, it feels really short to me. Cause before it was like down to my bum and now it's not down to my bum and it makes me sad. All right, let me just put more blush on and then we'll do the hair. We'll do the hair, the hair. I'll probably take my collagen right now too, but. I always tell people if there's one thing you want to consume for anti-aging and hair growth and skin and nails, like the ultimate number one, if you could only take one supplement for beauty, for anti-aging, wrinkles, hair growth, nails, just looking youthful, it would be collagen. That's the, if you can only afford one, that's the one I would tell you to get. Okay. But yeah. This is the one, uh, this is the one I'd recommend if you want mostly for um, anti-aging purposes. It's just a shot. I'm gonna take it right now. Ooh, I shouldn't have, sh I shouldn't have sh sh shook it up, shaked it up, I almost said shaked it up because I made a mess, but it just has a peach flavor. You just take one shot a day. I 
I should take this before I put lipstick on because then I get lipstick all over it. It's just like in a little Gogurt container. Um, but it's really, really good for anti-aging. If you guys comment hashtag anti-aging, I have all the products on there that I take for anti-aging. And then also just like things that I do in my routine to help slow down the aging process. Hashtag anti-aging. But if you guys get this collagen, so get the 30 day uh, supply. If you do this, if you do the subscription, you save like 10 or $15 every month. So it only comes to like $2 per shot. So it's a really, really good deal if you do the subscription on this. You do the 30 day subscription, you can cancel it whenever you want, but like $2 for a shot is so affordable. So much cheaper than a Starbucks drink. And you just take one shot a day, you don't have to mix it with anything, you just take it by itself. Um, hashtag, hashtag anti-aging, no spaces. Okay, let's do my hair. My hair, my hair. All right, so for my hair, yeah, hashtag anti-aging. There's products on there that I take, and then there's also just like things I do in my life to slow down aging. So it's a little bit of both. All right, I'm using my stylist. I think it's called stylist, stylist um, blow dryer. This thing is like a turbo jet. It goes crazy. It's a little expensive, but it is so worth the money. It comes with like all these magnetic attachments too. Um, like the, just magnetically sticks on there. So awesome. But it's got a little digital screen right there. See the little digital screen? And then you have the power, you have the temperature and the fan speed. If you want to check this out, you can do hashtag hair. But I just clicked this. And this is on, I'm going to do, so the different temperatures are 140, 190, or 250 degrees. And then I always do the middle temperature. And then for the fan, this is the, the fastest. See how strong those lashes are? But this, this will dry your hair so fast. I'm actually going to turn it down. The fan. I'm going to turn the fan down. Because sometimes if you have it that high, it'll tangle up your hair. And try not to get the hair in my lip gloss. I'm going to go up a little bit. There we go. this off so I'm not yelling over the blow dryer. I'll, in between blow drying I brush it. Uh, I don't use a heat protectant when I blow dry because I'm not using really hot temperature on my hair. If I'm using like a hot tool like a straightener or a curling wand then I use the heat protectant that's from that website if you do hashtag hair. But for blow drying purposes I don't use a heat protectant because it's not very hot. It literally is just warm air. So not really going to cause any damage unless you're using really hot temperature. No products? What do you mean no products? Yeah, no products. I don't really use a lot of products in my hair. I might use a little bit later, but when it's really wet like this, I really don't use a lot of stuff. The only thing that's in my hair right now is a little bit of coconut oil. Like a, a tiny bit I put like just on the end of my hair. But that's pretty much it. I 
I personally find that when you put too much products in your hair, it makes your hair greasy a lot faster. So I don't like to use a lot of products in my hair, especially if I'm not gonna style my hair. I'm literally only gonna dry it, I'm not styling it. So we're not gonna put a bunch of products in it because it's, it's not necessary. Look at how pretty this is. Yeah, if I can have my hair like this when it was dry, this color is so pretty. You got the coconut oil I recommended. It is good for your skin too. I have it on my skin. That's why it's in my hair. Because I put the coconut oil on my skin and then whatever's left, I just put a little bit in my hair. I used to have low lights, but I didn't like how dark it made my hair look. So usually when I blow dry my hair, I actually blow dry it upside down like this. it out quick yeah i try not to brush it too much until my hair is like mostly dry your hair is a lot more prone to break when it's wet so i try to be really careful when i brush it when it's wet but once it's like mostly dry then i start to brush and blow dry at the same time that's how i get it really nice and straight because if i don't brush it then it gets really wavy so And this brush is from the same website. This is their like big paddle brush. I love this brush. I like it because it's big, so it covers a lot of hair really quickly. Um, all it is is baby lights. That's all that's in my hair. Baby lights are just highlights with bleach. I really should um, put my my phone down here so I can blow dry it how I normally do because I'm not really doing it how. Usually when I do it, it's upside down the majority. The majority of the time, and that's how you get so much volume in your hair, especially if you have a lot of hair like I do. If you blow dry it upside down, you'll get more volume in it. Look, it looks so nice and thick too when you do that. So usually... Yeah. Actually, might bust out my comb a little bit. This comb, just to get some of the the gnarls out at, at the top here.
There we go. Okay. Oh, I still got a gnarl right here. I always get a gnarl in the same spot. It's always right here. This is probably from previously because I wear a lot of sweatshirts and my hair always gets tangled right there from hoodies. That's something I'm changing this year is I decided that whenever I wear a sweatshirt, I have to wear my hair up because I think that's what's causing breakage in the middle of my hair. Like when my hair is down, the middle of my hair, like if I put my hair, you probably won't see it right now until it's dry, but I have breakage in the middle of my hair and I think that's from my sweatshirt. So no more hoodies unless I put my hair up because my hair gets knotted and then when I'm trying to brush it out, it rips some of the hair out. So like, I, what, like I'm struggling with right now. This one too, like right here underneath there, I will put a little bit I hate hoodies very for that very reason. I know I love hoodies. I wear hoodies so much, but the last year I've been wearing them a lot. And I noticed like that's the whole reason I cut six inches off my hair because like there's literally a gap in the back of my hair like this big. Like the sides of my hair were long and then the middle part of my hair there was a gap that big. That's how much it ripped out my hair. So that's the whole reason I trimmed my hair in the first place. Otherwise, I don't cut my hair like ever because I want it to be long all the time, 24-7. Um, how many color... Oh, I read that already. I read that one already too. The lip color is the color blushing from my website that's linked down here. Um... I don't know if you could use coconut oil, but I'm gonna show you what I do use for detangling. I don't use it a lot, but I use it for this back part of my hair and it's um, it's a leave-in detangler and it's by the Odell brand. So sometimes I'll put this throughout my whole hair, but usually I just mostly do it for the back part. But you can, um, if you want like a little extra shine, I'll do it in all my hair. But then again, I try not to do too much because my hair, personally, my hair tends to get oily um, if I use a lot of product in my hair. So I do not sleep with a satin pillowcase. I bought one and I hated it. <laughs> I bought one and I didn't like it. It was so not comfortable. It wasn't soft like a cotton pillowcase. But when I sleep, when I sleep, um, I put all my hair above my head. So I'm not rolling on top of my hair. So when I'm in bed, my hair, it's not up in a bun or anything, but I just, if you can imagine me laying down right now, my hair is up here. So I just lay it up here. I don't let it lay on the side anywhere because I like to sleep on my side. So all my hair is up here, so I'm not rolling on top of it. Okay, look at how shiny we are. So shiny today. And I also, if you guys do that hashtag hair link, hashtag hair, I use their Barragio hair mask and I also use the Violet Toning mask for blonde hair. And that makes your hair really shiny too. You have the exact joggers? I love these. These are from um, Victoria's Secret. They're so comfy. Okay, yeah, we have to do more combing. I didn't comb out my hair enough last time. Just gotta get this um, weird knot out. Drying is always a little bit of a tedious task, but once it's done, it looks so nice. I don't really like, I used to let my hair air dry a lot, and I don't really like to do that anymore. I'll let it air dry for a little bit, for like an hour, but then after that, I blow dry it. 
I just found that my hair, when it air dries, it doesn't, it like gets all like crimpled up and it looks really bad. And it seems to be more prone to breaking too because it dries weird. So I prefer to brush and dry my hair. That way it's like where it's supposed to be. I just, like I said, I don't use a really hot temperature. I use a warm temperature. Um, because cold temperature just takes way too long and you don't really need hot temperature. You just need a warm temperature. Okay. Yeah, we already brushed out the bottom of my hair, so we don't need to brush the bottom again. Alright, we're almost to the point where I, I brush it and I blow dry it at the same time. Now it's curly? I wonder why. Alright. Yeah, so when it's... When my, when my hair is almost dry, like right now, see how fast that blow dryer works? That blow dryer dries your hair so fast but now what I do now what I do is blow dry and brush at the same time so gotta brush it out really well first and they actually have a blow drying brush tool but I just prefer to do this because it works better for me but I'm going to brush from the inside like this and then blow dry from the outside. See how nice that is? It makes your hair nice and straight and shiny. Can you guys see? Kind of. done but doing it like this too so like I said it's gonna give you a lot of volume but it's also gonna um, make your hair really shiny but that's kind of why I like this brush this brush has little bristles in it see that I actually have two of these brushes but one of them one of them does not have bristles so they see this one this one does not have the bristles in it this one has those little bristles 
the little bristles help um, spread the oil, the natural oils in your hair, or if you have any product in your hair, these little bristles help spread that around and it helps make your hair look really shiny. So I feel like that's part of the reason why my hair looks so shiny when I brush it is because of the little bristles in here. You can also just buy a brush that's all bristle, but I like the combination of these little longer pieces with the bristle brush. And again, if you want to link to the blow dryer or this brush, you can do hashtag hair and it's from that website. I have like all of their hot tools and stuff. They're really good. But okay, so my hair's still a little damp. We're almost done though. So I flip it up like this again, and then I blow dry this top part because this top part, part is still damp. Um, no, because I'm not cutting my hair. <laughs> no, um, you can just look up on YouTube how to cut hair, but I literally just, how I cut my hair, I literally just go like this, and then I just go like this, and go choo -choo -choo, choo -choo, and then if it looks even, I'm like, good enough. That's how I cut my hair. <laughs> I'm not a professional hairstylist though, so I'm pretty um, basic. I don't really ever cut my hair except for, like I said, I'll, once my hair is dry, I'll turn around so you can see the spot that I was talking about in the back of my hair. But you can even see, see how this part is a lot less, there's less hair on this side compared to this side. Look, you can see, see where it's shorter. See the pieces in here that are shorter? That's from a sweatshirt. So don't wear sweatshirts with your hair down. I learned my lesson. Okay, but let's, um, I thought you said cut my hair. I was like, no, we're not cutting my hair. <laughs> no, Alex, we're not doing that. Okay. Almost done though. You cut yours the same way? Yeah, it's just, really easy to cut your hair like that. Just go like this. Let it get all messy. My hair is pretty much dry. The last thing I do, and this is game changer, is we're gonna flip my hair upside down again, and we're gonna do the brushing and the blow drying at the same time. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do that till your hair gets a little bit warm. Make sure it's all, all nice and brushed out. And then what I do is I go find a cold spot in my house or I'll go walk outside where it's cold. And what that's gonna do is set just like you know how you set your curls with cold air, you do that with, with uh, you can do that with straight hair too and it'll just help give you more volume up here. So we're gonna do that. Oh, there goes my blow dryer. Gonna brush it out first. And then we're gonna blow dry it. Get it nice and warm. do when I get outside is I literally go like this to cool it off I go like this when I'm outside but with my head upside down so I'm gonna go quick 
run outside because it'll go a lot faster if I just go outside versus in the other room. Cool it off. My hair is nice and cooled off then I just flip upside down brush it out one more time and we're golden and that's it that's how I dry my hair but look at all the volume it'll fall a little bit because my hair is really heavy but it gives me more volume than if I just blow dry it like normal like normal people if you have long hair this really helps a lot All right, there we go. Uh, I'll show you the back of it. So you can see where the spot is in the back. I don't know if you can see that. I might need to go like this. Okay, you guys see? Do you see the gap in the back? I don't know if you can see that. I might need to brush my hair. Can you see it? I can't tell. Oh, where's my, where's my mirror? Here we go. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see it. I'm gonna go this way. Can you guys see like right here? It's a little shorter in the middle. And it's like shorter on one side. It's like shorter on one side a little bit. Yeah, that's from wearing sweatshirts, so put your hair up if you wear sweatshirts because that's what happens. But that's literally all I'll do with my hair. Look at how shiny and nice it looks. You don't need to put 30 products in your hair. No, I don't need all that product. All right, there you go. Beautiful! There's my little hair tutorial of the day. Uh, but yeah, again, the blow dryer is called a stylist, I think. Little little rocket ship blow dryer. This will dry your hair super fast. Um, this is from hashtag hair. If you comment hashtag hair, you'll find this. I think they're having a sale right now too, by the way. So that's where this brush is from. I don't know what they call this, but I just call it a paddle brush. Um, and this comes with a bunch of different attachments too. I have their other blow dryer too, which is really good. I have this one as well. This one's nice. This one doesn't dry your hair as fast, but it's not as aggressive as that one. So if you want one that doesn't rocket ship air at you, this one's a little not dramatic as that one. I just like that one when I want to dry my hair faster. But yeah, hashtag hair for a link to those. If you want a link to the little fancy dancy lash curler, or this mirror. The mirror is called the Taylor. It actually comes in different colors too. I have I have this in like almost all the colors. Here's a pink one. Um, but you can comment hashtag fancy for a link to the mirrors or the lash curler. I have that blow dryer and I love it. I know it's so worth every penny. I know some people don't like to spend that much money on hot tools, but that blow dryer is worth every penny. They're both really good, to be honest. This one just basically has the benefit of the digital thing on it. It has the ability where the different attachments just magnetically stick and it dries your hair faster. So if you don't really care about how fast your hair dries, the other one's really good too. Oh, what did I just unplug? My ring light? Embarrassing. Oh, 
Where did my ring light go? Well, where is my, it says my ring light's plugged in. I'm confused. Oh, maybe it's the back of this. No? Oh, did my ring light just break? That would suck. Oh, I think I just broke my ring light, guys. It's not working. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, let's try to unplug this and plug that in. Let's see. That's plugged in, that's plugged in. Let me try. Okay. Huh. I'm plugged into the wall. Uh oh, yay! It's not broken. Hooray! That would have sucked. Um. What else did I say? Oh, lashes. Hashtag lash. You guys want to check out the magnetic eyelashes? Hashtag lash. These are the fancy lashes. Fancy lash. I want to wrap this up, but I keep touching this because it's still hot. And you don't want to wrap this when it's hot because then this plastic, like, stains this. That's what happened to my other blow dryer. It got stained. Even on the, on this brush, see how it got stained right there? So you have to be careful with the heat. Um, hashtag lash for lashes. Hashtag hair for the hair stuff beads and the necklace and the earrings are from bombshell beads so hashtag beads for those hashtag beads for those and then if you want to check out the greens the greens the probiotic i already took my probiotic today and there's collagen in here i have collagen in here so i took the collagen shot but i also have collagen in here if you watch my instagram stories you'll see how i mixed this up but I took this as well. So if you want to link to those, hashtag YU, hashtag the letters YU, no spaces, YU, hashtag YU. If you want this collagen, this one's better, more geared towards anti-aging, um, and you want to do the subscription and everything, just comment hashtag anti-aging, and you'll find this one, okay? But that's all I got for you guys today. See you next time. Thanks for hopping on. And um, of course, if you need a color match, hashtag color match. I can color match you to this um, foundation bundle that I have. This is the BB bundle. I also have a serum foundation bundle, which is more full coverage. So like if I, if you get close, you can still see through this. See how you can still see like freckles and stuff through this. That's because this is just a BB cream. So it's a tinted moisturizer. If you want something more full coverage, you can do the serum foundation, which is full full coverage. Um, Lee Stylist Regular or the Lux? Um, now I don't know. I have to look. Let me. I'll tell you in a second here. Which one it is? Yeah, they're having seventy percent off site wide sale right now on the hair stuff. So if you guys want to save on the hair tools, they're on sale right now. Hair dryers. Okay, let me look which one I have. See, they actually have a hair drying blow uh, brush. I have this, but I I don't really like it as much because I need to like brush most of my hair out first and dry most of it. It's very hard to run your hair through this when it's wet. Like this will work once your hair is mostly dry, but it's really hard for me because my hair snarls. I have the I have the Lee. I'm looking at the picture. I have the Lee Stylist Lux. That's the one I have. The Lee Stylist Lux right here. And it's actually a lot cheaper than what I paid for it. I paid the $350 for this. So it's on sale right now for $279. So you guys save like almost 100 bucks on this right now. But yeah, I paid full price for this and I freaking love it. I love it. Um, and it'll come with all those attachments, so you don't have to pay extra for the attachments. It'll come with all those. So, um, that's all I got for you. All the other links, if you can't find a link to something like the makeup or whatever, everything's linked down here in this little pinned link. Otherwise, there's links above as well. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you later. Bye!